Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Test Rack with Loki. So let's go over to packaging first. So first we get the front side. I don't know really which side this is the front, but here we get a nice picture of the Test Rack, picture of Loki, Loki logo here, Test Rack tells you the uh, tells you the the effects of the Test Rack here. Excuse me, Marvel Legends logo here, Disney Plus logo here. Here is the side where it shows Loki. It says a little bit about it. Marvel Legends logo. Here is the back with the test rack with the like dimensions. Here's Loki size and what's in the test rack. Loki logo here. Disney Plus logo here. Here's the other side with the test rack. Here is the top with test rack and Loki. Marvel Legends logo there. And then here is the bottom with nothing besides the UPC if you guys want to see that. But we said that let's crack it open but before i do so if you guys are really wanting to grow your collection make sure you guys go ahead and check out entertainment earth click the link in the description below so here is the tesseract and loki here on the package so first let's go over to the tesseract so first things first you have it right here uh you have to put batteries in it i already did that i'll show you where to put them in so first we get this little clear casing here so what you want to do is find like the little tab on the six places. Here's the tab. It's kind of hard to see with that light flickering there. But you would just want to pull that off like that. Make this thing slide out. Bam. There's the test rack in your hand. And then you can see it all like, it's kind of like an ocean. It's really cool looking. It's a very transparent pla uh, plastic blue. It looks really cool. It makes it look cloudy. Um... And then you want to find another tab, which is also really hard to find, but it's like in the corner right here in the middle. And you just kind of want to pull it apart like that. And then you get this ball of LEDs here. But first, let's just take a look at the inside here. So as you can see, it's like resin printed, <laughs> kind of. It's really rough in the uh, inside, just so that way it gives that like cloudy look to it. So that is nice. So yeah, very transparent blue, like ocean blue. So that's cool. And you get this ball of LED lights here. Uh, it looks like a lot just because of the inside, but you can see the batteries right there. And there's a screw right here that you just pop off. There's a string. You need three batteries. One goes below. So there's two different compartments. So there's one that has two, one right here, um, but there's only this top part. So what they did was put a string inside. And what you would do if you want to switch out batteries is that you pull that. And the one that is all the way in the bottom, that would come out with it. So, that's how you use that. If you don't do that, which is a problem, it could get stuck. So, or you would just switch, just swap out the top one. Either way, still, much rather take care of both of them at the same time. But then you also get this button here, which is right here. It's kind of hard to see. But you can hold it down, make it stop flickering, or make it fade out like that. Push it again. Fades in, bam, just lighten up like that. Looks like it's flickering on the camera. It's just camera not processing the light quite well, I don't think. But, and then we'll power it down real quick. You just throw that back in there like that. And also it's like a triangular sphere. So like you can see like a bunch of triangles to make the ball. I think I might just leave it on to be honest. Um, and then we find the part where it has that like little tab here. So you can kind of see there. You see that little tab piece imprint there? Like that little chunk out. And you just kind of find that. Bam. You can it's pretty easy to figure it out just because top, bottom part. And then if you want to, just so that way it doesn't come apart, you can just slide that back into the compartment. So that way it doesn't come apart. And then bam, test rack. So really cool accessory. Not much to really do. It's just kind of like a little centerpiece if you want it to be so it's really cool uh if you're trying to collect like the infinity stones this is one of them so it's really cool my phone's about to die <laughs> and now we got the test rack all done now we have loki up front so let's go over the accessories so first we get this like little flame piece here transparent blue uh orange uh very flexible uh plastic you get a little loop there 
That is for his little sword or knife, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a gold. You get the brown on the hilt. Or not hilt. The handle part and some gold. It's like rusted gold, it looks like. So you get like some little spots in it. Really cool effect there. So this is a pretty cool blade. Unique. So, yeah. And what you would do, I believe, is just kind of... You could do it multiple ways, I think. You just kind of do it like that if you want. Or... If you just want to have the hilt through and then have them hold it like that. But yeah, that is the blade and that's all we got for accessories. Here is Loki up close. I believe this is the same head sculpt that we gotten with uh, Infinity War Loki 2-pack or Thor Ragnarok uh, figure wave. Uh, I believe it's the same head sculpt. Uh, I think it's different. From the Loki series one that we've gotten with the Disney Plus wave. I'm not sure. But, yeah. We've seen this head sculpt before. And it looks like Tom Hiddleston. Uh, you get the black hair. You get blue eyes. Uh, is it blue? It might be green. I think it's green. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's green. Uh, and then you got, like, this uh, the button-up shirt here that is kind of, like, tan white. So, it's cool. And you get, like, this little holster for his back here. You can't really pop it off because I think they glued it in the back. Um, but brown, plastic, soft plastic. And you get some gold buckles around the corners of the area for it. You get, like, a little sewn sculpt there. This is for the hilt. So you put the blade inside there, just like this if you want. If you don't want him to hold it. So, pretty cool. And then you also get some, like, little buttons inside there. So, and then you got his little tie here with some, like, orange, different types of brown that he wears in the movie. Belt, gold buckle, brown pants. Uh, also, joints, knee joints are not pinless. I think this is a reuse uh, of legs from the Logan figure, but no problem. Uh, it's also easy to tell because of the little ankle part there you can kind of see that it's high most figures that have like the really bad like ankle things usually drop down to like their heel so i'm glad that they're going with the better side of the dress pants legs i don't know i'm very particular about that type of stuff and you got brown shoes very like shiny brown shoes so and you got pegs at the bottom of them usually they put them on the heels but they put them on the balls of the feet. Here's the back. But yeah. And then let's go over the articulation. So he has a uh, ball hinge uh, head joint. So he looks down that far. Looks up just that far. Hair gets in the way. Left and right motion. A little bit of head pivoting. Shoulders move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Biceps will uh, single jointed the elbows actually. So there's a socket inside the elbow with the hinge here you can kind of tell so it goes down actually too like that 360 rotation around that and then wrist hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation also uh i forgot to mention the sleeves are rolled up and then um this is like a relaxing hand i guess <laughs> um and then you got the sword of grabbing hand uh and then you got ab crunch that goes just for barely any backwards a little bit too uh, 360 rotation around this um, waist swivel, clicky, legs kick out that far, forward quite a bit, backwards, none, thigh cut, double jointed knees, I believe there should be a boot cut, which there is here, so you can just swivel that around, ankles hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that is the Loki and Tesseract uh, figure prop review, I don't know what to say about that. Um, but yeah, that is all I got. I think this is a really cool figure set, uh, with a prop. I think they should do more of this. So like maybe do like a Star Lord one with a unique Star Lord figure with a, uh, maybe the power stone, uh, with the orb. Maybe they should do that. I think they should do that more with, and try to collect the space stones maybe, or all the infinity stones. I mean, not space stones. This is a space stone though. Um, really cool effect though. I like how they did the Tesseract. They did a really good job on that. Um, the figure itself, really cool. Not much that I can say. I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, that is all I really got. If you guys want a more fast-paced review, go ahead and check out my TikTok in the link tree in my bio. Or description, I mean. 
Um, but besides that, thanks for watching.